Hello everyone, you're watching Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Varma. So we are understanding the PowerPoint environment and the next we have the zoom option which is located to the right to the slide views. This is the zoom option or you can say the zoom control where you can say the percentage written here. We have a minus sign on the left hand side and plus sign on the right hand side. Zoom control allow us to zoom in for the closer look at the text. It consists of a slider that we can slide to the left and to the right. The maximum zoom support did by the PowerPoint presentation is 400%. You can move this slider. I'll show you how. You can see that the percentage is getting decreased. And in the similar way, if we try to move the slider to the right hand side, we can move this up to the 400%. So as per your convenience, you can set it to a moderate value because you need to work on the slides. So this is about the zoom option and the slide views. We have understood like what are the all views available for the slides and how the zoom control work. Zoom control is only for the slide area. You keep on moving this and the slide area that would either increase up to 400% or that would either decrease up to 10%. And the next we'll discuss about the note section and help. If we talk about the note section, this is placed on the bottom here. This is the window, the note window. You can see a note written here, click to add notes. Once you place your cursor and click, you can add your internal notes here. This section allow you to add notes for the presentation. These notes will not be displayed on the screen during the presentation. This is most important. This is only for the internal sake. These notes will not be displayed on the screen. Once we run the slideshow, these are not being visible to anyone. These are just like the quick references and this is for the presenter who is presenting these slides. Suppose if I have created a slide and while presenting it, I want to include certain points. I want to keep certain things in my mind that I need to include these things or these points while explaining it. So I can make some internal notes here. This is only for the presenter and for the internal use. Then second, we'll discuss about the help section. Help icon, it can be used to get PowerPoint related help anytime we need. It's there, it's located on the right hand side corner above on the top. This is a question mark here. The shortcut to get the help is press the F1 key, function key F1 on your laptop and you will get the help. Otherwise, you can click on the question mark on the right hand side top. You can click here and then this is the window. This is the help window which would open in front of you. Here you can write your queries like uh, let's try to find out something including text for the slide. So you can uh, get multiple options here. What is a slide master, add text to the slide, what is a slide layout. These are the options available. You can open these. So you will get certain explanation like we have selected change the font option. Change the font on a single slide. You will get some description here. You can read out the text and you can try to implement that for your presentation. So this is the best option. Even if you got stuck somewhere, open the help option and write your query. You will get multiple options, multiple suggestions. 
by which you can make your slides or your presentation better. The best section of this PowerPoint environment is the help section. The best section of the PowerPoint environment is the help section because whenever you got stuck, you're not able to make out the next moves. Just open up the help window either by clicking on the question mark or press F1 key. Press the F1 key and you will get this help window. Write your query, click on search and you will get multiple suggestions. So in this way you can add notes to your presentation and you can make use of the help section. So that was it for today's session. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Adjopedia World videos.